Dear friends, welcome to the spoken tutorial on more on redirection. In this tutorial, we will learn redirection of both standard error and output, appending redirected output with the help of some examples. To follow this tutorial, you should have knowledge of shell scripting in Bash. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website which is as shown. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system, GNU Bash version 4.2. Please note, GNU Bash version 4 or above is recommended for practice. In an earlier tutorial, we learned about standard output and standard errors. Both standard error and standard output can be redirected to the same file. This can be done in multiple ways. We will cover two of the most important methods of redirection in this tutorial. The first method to redirect both the standard output and error is by using ampersand followed by greater than sign. The syntax is command space ampersand greater than space file name. Let me open a file named redirect.sh. I have typed some code in this file. This is the shebang line. ls lists the directory content of two directories namely usr and user. Note that user directory does not exist. Hence, the command ls will throw an error. Ampersand followed by greater than will redirect standard output and standard error to out underscore file dot txt. Now save the file. Let us run the file redirect dot sh. Open the terminal using control alt and t keys simultaneously on your keyboard. Type ch mode space plus x space redirect dot sh. Press enter. Type dot slash redirect dot sh. Press enter. We can see the output by opening out underscore file dot txt. Type cat space out underscore file dot txt. We can see both error and output. The error for directory user is recorded in this file. It says that there was no user directory found. The directory content for USR is displayed. Please note that the content for USR directory may vary on your system. Now let us delete this file. So on the terminal type rm space out underscore file dot txt. Another method is to use to greater than ampersand 1 after the file name. The syntax is command space greater than file name space 2 greater than ampersand 1. We can also redirect to slash dev slash null file. Let us learn a little more about slash dev slash null file. It is a special kind of file. It is a null file or a place where we can dump anything. It includes the output and error messages. It is also called as bit bucket. Let us now come back to our code in gedit. Let us redirect both standard output and error to the null file. I will copy this line of code and paste it below over here. I want both the output and error messages to be discarded. So, I will change this part of the copied code. Greater than means truncate or write. Slash dev slash null is the null file. 2 greater than ampersand 1. Number 2 will redirect standard error to standard output denoted by number 1. Now click on save. Save the code. Let us run the file redirect.sh. Go to the terminal. Recall the previous command with the up arrow key dot slash redirect dot sh. 
and press enter. We can see the output by typing cat space out underscore file dot txt. Come back to the slides. We can capture as well as append standard output or error to a file. The output or the error will be appended at the end of the file. If the file does not exist, it will create a new file. The syntax is command space greater than greater than space followed by file name. Let us understand this using an example. Let me open the file redirect.sh. Now here let's type date space greater than greater than space out underscore file dot txt. The date command will simply display the system date as output. We can check this command on the terminal by typing date. Come back to the terminal. Type date. You can see that the system date that is the current date is displayed. The output of date command will be appended to out underscore file dot txt file. We are using this file to capture standard output and error of ls command. Click on save. Switch to the terminal. Now press the up arrow key recall the previous command dot slash redirect dot sh and press enter. Let us check the output by opening out underscore file dot txt. Type cat space out underscore file dot txt. Observe that the output of date command is appended to the end of the file. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial we learned redirection of both standard error and output and to append the redirected output. As an assignment, create x underscore file dot txt file with some content. Redirect the content of both out underscore file dot txt and x underscore file dot txt to a new file. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. The script has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial teams. This is Ashwini Patil from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.